everyone this is going to be messages from your person this is intended to be a love reading so we have pile number one pile number two pile number three there is no one else like you i care so deeply for you i love you so much i'm worried that there's other people that um you're interested in that you're gonna leave me for that you're gonna choose over me I feel like I feel like I'm not going to be able to please you in all the ways that I feel you deserve. And I'm afraid that I'm not going to be enough for you. I know that if we're meant to be, then it will happen. It will work out for us. I do feel like I just need time to really bring up my confidence again for you. I feel like maybe my past is really what's been holding me back from making the moves that I want with you or at least just come forward to you in the way that I want. I'm just worried that things might end up the way that they used to. I'm going to be hurt again. Um, you're going to you're just going to think that my problems right now or how I act towards you is going to be too much. I want to take this time to really get to know you. Um, I want to find out everything about you and you see me for who I am um, so that you can really recognize value in me and choose me. I want you to be able to be the one who chooses me. I want you to be able to trust me and also trust that I am making changes in my life so that I can be someone that you choose, that I won't be someone that has low self-esteem, I won't be someone that is imbalanced in any kind of way. I'm trying to overcome my demons. I'm trying to overcome my insecurities so that I can have this with you. I see things so much differently. Every day I'm growing as a person, but there's still so much for me to learn about myself. I feel stuck. I feel like I feel like I'm just causing my own pain. You know, I'm trying to evaluate everything and all options, you know, and and look at everything from from every angle and what options I can take to come towards you because you're just so so beautiful you're so perfect for me you're everything I ever imagined you're just so special so unique I want to open up to you in a way that I've never opened up to anybody else I want to open my heart to you I just don't feel like I'm ready for it now I don't really feel like I'm I'm gonna be able to be that person that you deserve you're just you're perfect you're you're everything I ever imagined I feel like you were made perfectly for me you're exactly who I was looking for you're exactly the person that I wanted that I always envisioned that I daydreamed about before I even met you every time I think about you I just get so emotional get so emotional about you because I'm overwhelmed I'm overwhelmed with all the things that I have to do to to be that person that I want to be for you I feel like you're the song of my heart I think about you when I'm listening to music I think about you during the work my work day throughout the day maybe school wherever I'm at just throughout the day I'm just always thinking about you and what I can do to please you and the ways that I I, I envision myself pleasing you in ways that I haven't been able to yet. I just want to be fair to you. Again, there's just deep desire in me to play fair with you, to make sure that things are in order for you, that things are in balance for you. I want to get everything right in my life, whether there's legal issues, whether there's me completing school or or job or anything whatever it is that's going on in my life i just want to be ready for you i know that you have every reason not to trust me right now because i am being so quiet because i am kind of going back and forth because maybe you feel like i have other options too but I promise it's it's only you, it's only you that I care about. It's only you that I see as being perfect for me. You're so unique, you're so special. You bring emotions out of me that I've never felt with anybody before in my entire life. I see 
everything differently. I see the world in brand new eyes because of you. You've completely turned my world upside down. And I feel like I don't even deserve you. I don't deserve you. I'm so passionate about you. You know, like, I feel like you're the only person that can really just... You can take this pain away for me. You can take it away for me, from me. I, I don't want you to, but I know that you could. I know that you're fully capable of doing that. I know that I would just allow you to just rule my life. You know, this would be the death of me in the most beautiful way. The death of who I was. The death of, of everything that I didn't, that wasn't serving me in my life, that wasn't completing me in my life. You could be that person that revives me. I feel like you saved me in a way. I just feel like there's so many other options for you. Like, why do you need me? Why are you even going to choose me? You know, I'm willing. I'm willing to to fight for you. I'm willing to show you, you know, that I, I am deserving of you. That I want to have a family with you. I want to marry you. I am someone that you should choose. You should choose me. See the way that I'm fighting everything in my life, all these obstacles in my life, every, every other person too. I want you to be able to see that. I want you to be able to recognize that. I really feel like we're fated. I feel like there's there's so much to unravel about you. There's so much to learn about you. I want to know it all. I want to know what makes you feel alive. I want to know the things that hurt you. I want to know the things that make you feel passionate, that make you feel cold, that make you feel jealous and scared and worried. I've made my decision. Don't question whether I made my decision about you or not. By all means, yes. I want to move this forward. I want to. I feel afraid. There's a part of me that does feel guarded that makes me feel like maybe I won't be able to do it. But I think in my heart there's there's just it, it feels like there's no question about us. It feels like this is really meant to be. I mean, you you consume my thoughts, you consume everything. My actions are driven by you. How could this be anything else? How could this not be something substantial and meaningful. It wouldn't make sense to me. There's a part of me that feels like I ruined what we had. There's a part of me that feels like maybe you don't see a future with me, but I see myself as the parent of your child. I see myself having, having us overcome all obstacles and moving this forward into something brand new, completely new. I want you to choose me over all your options. You have so many options. You're the only person I feel you can tame me. And I would let you. Let's get an advice for you guys from your guardian angels. Some advice for you about this relationship. Have faith that things are going to be changing for you, that things are going to be moving forward for you. You are being divinely guided. You are being helped in this situation. There are some of you that feel very lost at this time, and maybe you're blaming yourself for some of the decisions um, that cause a separation between you guys or cause some sort of argument or rift between you guys. Just forgive yourself for that acknowledge the dark parts of you and grow from it because you have to trust that things are going to work out. Trust that they're going to come forward again. Allow your heart to open and be vulnerable to the situation because it is opening and it is happening for you. We have heaven's messages and perfect timing. Again, this comes back in 
with Divine Order. This repetition for me. We have the World card. There was another card in here that I... Anyway, there's three cards in here that I feel represent divine timing for you. Divine timing is at play. You guys have some things that you need to grow from and learn from. I think in particular for you, pile number one, what it is that you need to learn is having this self-forgiveness. That's the main message. And having faith that things are going to be working out. Things are going to be changing for you. Things are going to be opening up as far as modes of communication or even just being out and about. I see you guys out, like physically out, exploring, going, just socializing, and feeling a lot lighter and happier. I think there was a period here where you feel a little hyper-focused or overwhelmed about whatever situation is happening between you and your person. But it is going to allow you to break free from those feelings. You're going to feel a relief, a physical relief, once this, this happens for you. Once you find that peace within yourself. And through knowing that this is divine timing, you know, your, your guardian angels are di speaking directly to you with this heaven messages. You know, I feel like there's a there's a big knowing within you as well when you're watching this you're saying yeah I know I know I've had confirmation over and over again about divine timing maybe some of you are like I am sick of hearing about divine timing like I want it to happen now I feel like I'm ready some of you might even feel like yeah I have some things to work on but it's not that big of a deal like I can multitask <laughs> you know I can be with this person and continue to move forward and grow and your guardian angels are saying no just wait on it like tr trust us trust the process trust that things are happening for you your world is expanding beyond what you can imagine it's opening up into something very 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 beautiful it's a treasure what's happening here is a treasure so embrace this moment embrace any separation that you might potentially have with this person or this slower communication with this person whatever's going on here trust that it's going to be working out i see a lot of blossoming happening for you a lot of unfolding and unraveling of getting to know each other and getting to know yourself even better through this and being more independent through this self-reliant through this But I do see an indication that there is a break with you guys. There's a pause between you guys. And soon enough is... I'm going to say within the next several months. And that's that's actually pushing it. That's pushing it to me. Um, a lot of you might be like within days to weeks of a change. A uh, change in the wind here. But I do see it happening for you. And it might even happen in an un unexpected way. So as soon as you start, it's going to happen naturally for you for this healing process that you, you're you going through. It's going to start happening naturally. And by the time that happens, you're almost not even realizing it's happening. And then this person's going to come back. And there's going to be like a knowing, but then maybe a doubt. Like, no. And that doubt is allowing that energetic space for them to come back in and say something um, that is going to have a lot of closure and clarity for you and explanation for you. And this also, I think, is allowing you to trust them, to trust them. But I see that as a, a big message here. And I do, do see you ascending. Um, I see that there's a part where you feel a little shy about this. You feel a little withdrawn about this but they do have some true tried and true intentions here and this situation between you guys they have confirmed it on their end whether this is something that they consciously know or their higher selves are fully aware of but I would say consciously they have that feeling if they if they truly tell you like um no I didn't know we were meant to be necessarily 
I would say they would at least be like, there was something there. I know it because I could feel it. I just couldn't put my finger on it. I couldn't place my finger on it. So that's my reading here. Um, I also see working on speaking, some sort of public speaking or just finding the right words that you want to say. I think, I think what I'm seeing is taking your thoughts and putting it into words. So don't just write it down, but put it into words. So maybe talk, talking out your thoughts is somehow playing a role here and, and it is significant in here. So that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. All right. Hey, pile number two, this is going to be your reading. I've been crying over you. I feel like I'm so alone right now. Alone in my thoughts and I, I feel like you're just, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. I just fantasize about our last encounter together. If we haven't been together, then I fantasize about what it would be like. And I feel like I find you in music. I play music that reminds me of you. That's really the truth. And the truth is everything that I hear on the radio, everything I see on TV, I try and associate it with you somehow. I just want to be strong through this. I just want to be strong. I just want to put everything behind me. There's just... Everything feels dark to me. My world feels dark. Feels like I just... I'm just in my own thoughts and my own mind thinking about you. And I feel like I just have to hold this inside of me. I feel like all this information has to be hidden. You are so perfect to me. It takes my breath away to think about how perfect you are, how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, how wonderful you are, everything about you. It just, it shocks me. Your beauty shocks me. I think sometimes you feel like maybe I don't see you or I'm ignoring you. And I just, I, I feel like I need to play it cool with you. I feel like I need to just act like you don't affect me. I feel like you're really protected, you guys. I'm stepping out of this channeled reading because Archangel Michael is coming through twice. Michael might be a significant name to you. He's coming through very deeply. Let's get back into the reading. I want to take your pain away. I want to be the one who protects you through everything. I want to be sure to be the person that just takes any pain in your heart away. I want to carry that pain for you. I want to carry it proudly and passionately. I love who you are and I hope that you see how beautiful you truly are. I hope you really see what a special person you are and I recognize you actually, you have a lot of people who are jealous of you. You've been through a lot of pain, and I recognize that about you. I think you're just so wonderful. You're deserving of all the love that I hopefully can provide to you one day. I am your secret admirer. I have to just have to hold it in and look at you from a distance and see you feel like you're just moving on without me just enjoying your life you're living your own life maybe you're telling other people about what you've done in your life the things that have happened in your life and I just I want to be the person that hears that I want to be the person that takes all of that and turns it into something beautiful I just want to take your pain and carry it for you so you can just live freely I think your pain makes you just even more sweeter. I feel like I feel like we're meant to be. I feel like this is growing into something bigger than I ever imagined. And the more that I hold this in me, the greater it grows. It just multiplies and multiplies and multiplies. And I feel like we're soulmates. 
and it kind of scares me. It worries me. It worries me that I feel this way and I haven't fully expressed myself to you. I haven't told you the full extent of my feelings. Like you're you're on TV to me. You are you are my favorite TV show. I could just watch you for hours. I could just think about you for hours. I could just imagine what you're doing, who you're talking to, how you live your life, and I just want to be by your side at all times. If I could energetically just connect you and be with you and just live beside you, I feel like I'm already doing it and I would just I wish I could just actually see that. I wish this was put into place. This wasn't just a fantasy. This wasn't just thoughts. I want this to be reality. But I'm scared. I'm scared of being hurt. I'm scared of everything that I'm going to have to leave behind into moving into something that I, is completely unfamiliar. I don't know how you're going to react. I don't know how you feel. I feel like it's taken me such a long time to move. I've been sitting here and sitting here and sitting here in a fantasy, sitting here in these thoughts and holding it inside that it's so overwhelming. I When I open up to you, I'm just going to have this outpouring of emotions. I don't know if I can handle myself. I don't know if I can control the way that it's going to come out. I feel like there's just, there's so much that I want to tell you. There's so much that I dream about. There's, I think about you all the time. I write about you. I see us growing old together. You make me feel like a kid again. These feelings, I feel like it's it's a crush. I feel like it's a crush. It's more than that. But it just it makes me feel so silly and happy and and youthful and like I just don't even know what I would say or do and I'm just overthinking things and worried I'm working on it I'm working on being closer to you I'm really sad you know deep down I am really sad that this is just a dream but I, I don't want it to be that anymore I, I want to be I want to be wow I mean the emperor twice. I want to be your foundation. I want to be the person that you come home to, you can rely on, you can depend on. I want to provide you with everything you could ever desire. I don't want you thinking about anybody else but me. There's so much possession and and jealousy, you know? that I feel for you. Like, I just feel like I want to be that man. I want to be that woman that you, you fantasize about too. The way I feel about you, I want it to be equal. I'm working on myself so that I can be that person. I want to be able to be just un, like so attractive to you that it hurts. I want you to be able to look at me and feel the way that I fantasize about you. I want that. That is my biggest wish. That's my biggest dream. Is that all these sweet crush feelings. This feeling of possessiveness. In a way that's just like. I just want to be. I just want to attack you with love and compassion. And, and passion. And I want you to feel the same way about me. I want you to only see me and not wonder what's behind me, not wonder who's around. I want you to feel like when you when you finally see me again, when you finally come to me again, when we're together, that it's a dream come true. I want you to see me as your fantasy. I'm working so hard for you. I'm working so hard on myself. And all of the things that might potentially keep us apart. I'm working on my shadows. I'm working on building a better life for us and for you. I want to grow roots with you. A foundation with you. 
and I want to let my guard down with you. I think you find me funny, honestly. I think you think that I, it's amusing how I'm so guarded and that you can see right through me. I think I'm trying so hard and it's kind of sending me into a panic because I know that you know as well and I'm not doing a very good job at putting up defenses with you because you just see right through me. It's really scary to me. It's really scary. You kind of scare me. <laughs> because I almost don't even know what's going on in your head. Like, you come across as someone that's so stable and so quiet. And, you know, you know what to say and how to say it. You're just, like, a cut above me. Like, it just it scares the heck out of me. But it also is everything that I've always wanted. And I just... I see us having this future together, this life together, where I come in and like offer you, offer you everything that you could ever imagine. And you're like, yes, I do. Let's, let's, let's get it going. Let's start a life together. Let's build together. Let's just be children forever and have fun and just laugh and smile and play all day constantly. I have so much to say to you. I keep your messages close to me. I reread them over and over and over and over again. And I feel like I, that's my prize. I feel like you are my ultimate prize. And everything that you've ever said to me, everything that you've ever indicated to me that I feel like you're really into me, I have treasured your pictures I've treasured because I, I watch you on social media. I watch the way that you, the things that you say to me, I analyze everything that you've said to me and the way that you post online. I'm watching it and I'm seeing if, you know, I can shoot my shot. When am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? When's the best way to do it? Mm -hmm. I probably saved your pictures too. Probably screenshot those pictures because you are very, 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 very attractive to me. You are my equal. That's it. There's no, like, you shouldn't even, like, I'm going to shoot my shot, but, like, you, the, you should not say no to me because... Like, when I do, you're going to know. You're going to know that we're perfect for each other. There's just no way. We're literally reflections of each other. We are absolute reflections. And I feel like there's parts of us where we're so opposite. But it's like looking down at a pond. And it's the opposite reflection. Like, we're still the same. We're still the same. And I'm seriously, I'm shocked at your existence. And I'm shocked at how well you know me without even really talking to me. Like, we haven't really said all that much to each other. Like, you've said more to me than I've said towards you. You know, I've tried to just keep it quiet. I've tried to play it cool. But it's like, you know me. You already know me. And it scares me so much. It's so intimidating. You're, you're just so smart. You're so intelligent. <laughs> and you're intuitive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get advice for you guys about this. What I see here for you guys is they are wanting to make a move towards you. They... They're this com they are confident in themselves. They're fully confident in themselves. But at the same time, it's like, because they see you in such high regard. And they see themselves in such high regard that they're like, there's no way pal number two is going to reject me, right? Like, there's still a little bit of insecurity there. Or a lot of insecurity because you you know exactly what they're thinking, what their thoughts are, everything, and you you also are able to just enjoy your life and walk with confidence, walk with authority, and 
they never they never felt like they met their match until they met you. They never found someone that they feel so perfect for them and that just compliments them in every kind of way. That is very scary. It's very scary. And they are willing to take on this role of having something deeper with you. Um, I feel like it, it's stressing them out to be so quiet about their feelings towards you. The true extent of their feelings. It's stressing them out and, and they don't want to do it anymore. They, they don't they don't want it to be end up where you're hurt. They don't want to have it end up where you feel like there's nothing there and that you're just getting rejected and maybe even possibly moving on or you think that they moved on. They just, they don't want anything like that to happen. They don't want to screw it up. So I think they're going to come forward pretty soon if they haven't already. So let's get advice for you from your guardian angels. Pay attention. So notice that there's repetitive signs. Now we have six, six, four, four, nine, eight, eight. So there, there is repetition here already. Four, four, six, six, eight, eight. We have three, um, three, three, three. <laughs> So this is already here, so it's saying to, to notice that because this is your inner guidance. It's, it's yielding valuable information for you. Um, I think that you're holding some of this close to you. You're holding it very, um, again, there, there's, there's something that you've said to them or that they've said to you. I think it's both um, where you've just kind of like thinking deeply, both of you thinking deeply about maybe a last conversation or some sort of like deep conversation you've had. And that's, that's, I don't know, that, that's a good thing. Whatever that, ha whatever happened there is a good thing. Um, we have rejuvenation, angel of wisdom. So, they, they've accurately picked up that you're a deeply intuitive person. You might even also be some sort of psychic medium here or have some sort of, um, abilities as far as that goes, just like highly, highly intuitive, so what I'm seeing here is your guardian angels are saying to work on that some more. Be able to connect with them some more because they are connecting to you. And there's this repetition here as well, wisdom and paying attention, where it's paying attention to the signs that they're delivering to you. You can even be reading a book recently. Um, you could be doing something that has to involve the full moon, um, whatever it is, to just keep working to the best of your abilities of evolving, of ascending, of doing things that are going to mentally stimulate you, and also just connecting to your heart space more. Open up your heart more and allow this to unfold um, because they are coming forward to you. And um, you don't have to worry. I don't think that you're all that worried about it. I think you're more of just curious because you're very well, you're, you, you're, you, you already know. And they know you know, and it scares the crap out of them. <laughs> and you know that they're coming forward. You can probably feel it. You can probably feel their energy drawing closer to you and then tapering off and closer and tapering off because they're trying to decide the best time to do it. Um, and they're, they're watching you very closely on social media or just in general. They're, they're somehow keeping a very close eye on you in order for them to know within themselves when the best time for them to make that move towards you to really open up to you on the extent of their feelings. I think just, I also see this need to like maybe even show off on social media or just like really take care of yourself in the best way. Like just focus more on yourself, um, do some sort of self care routines or whatever's going to make you feel really, really good. Cause I think that's going to, um, speed this up. If you wanted to, it would speed it up a bit and everything's good. Every, there's going to be some exciting opportunities, new abundance. So during this time, um, just focus on yourself, work on yourself because you, there's nothing else for you to do. They're, they're, they're coming forward. So that's my reading. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, right, pile number three, this is going to be your reading.
When can I see you again? I miss you so much. I want to see you so bad. I don't know why this happened. I know there's a higher purpose to what happened between us. Um, I know there's a blessing through this. I know there's a blessing in disguise for this. But I just, I want to see you so, so bad. I miss you so much. I know I need to be patient with you. I need to be patient with us. You know, there's going to be a lot of challenges ahead. But I'm, I'm ready to take it on. I'm ready to just pursue everything. I feel like... I feel like all our plans, everything that I always wanted, it kind of burned to the ground. But I see a way through it. I see a way of making this work between us. I know that things can work out. I think this is just, this is just part of the process. That's what I tell myself. This is just part of the process. And it might seem really scary. It might seem frightening. You know, but, you know, even if, even if there were words exchanged between us that were not, that were not friendly, that were not good, I don't, I don't know exactly what happened here, but whatever it is, I know that it's going to work out. I know it, through this, it's just, it's going to be miraculous. It's going to be so beautiful what comes out of this. I'm just trying to keep my thoughts positive and, and surround myself with people who are positive. I feel like there's still going to be remnants of what happened. I feel like I still have to protect myself in a lot of ways. But I know that in due time, things are going to work out. I, that's, I just have to keep telling myself that. I just have to keep reminding myself that things will work out. That things happen for a reason. You know, I feel like this is just the natural order of things is almost what I feel like. Like, this is just, it's a natural disaster. It's just, this is just part of it. Think, things we will rebuild, you know, we will grow, and it, it's it, we're going to grow even better out of this. We're going to be even better and stronger. I can feel you. I feel this spiritual connection with you. I feel like we've shared lifetimes together. I feel like will continue to. I don't I don't ever feel separated from you. I feel connected to you at all times and I just want to carry you through my life and be with you forever. And sometimes I just feel like I need to just let it all out. Let out all my feelings. Maybe I'm writing about it. Maybe I'm just just finding some sort of creative outlet for me. But there's a part of me that still, I feel like I have to protect my heart. I have to protect myself. And I feel like I have to shield myself because I'm still hurting. I feel like I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding inside. I'm hurting so much. I just want you so bad. I want to see you so bad. And I feel like, I feel like maybe I'm the cause of this sometimes. What did I do wrong? But the only thing I can do... And there's so much I can do, but the thing that I'm doing mostly is just, I, I'm, I'm trying to just manifest you back into my life. I'm trying to just bring you back into my life. And there's people that are, are trying to just maybe feel like they're protecting me, they're holding me back, that they, they want me to just choose a different path maybe, or that I'm just walking right into fire. And I, I, I can't, I can't, I know, I know what I know. And... I'm, I'm not going to listen to someone who doesn't, who doesn't understand, who doesn't have that, that, that advice, the proper advice for me, you know, maybe I just listened to them too long and they're telling me to protect my heart and to protect myself and I was wrong for that, I was wrong for believing that they would even understand this connection that we share. I probably don't even understand this, this past life connection, this spiritual connection, this depth to what we share. They don't have something like that. They don't understand this. You just light up my my world. You light up my soul. And at the same time, you just soothe me. You're soothing to me. You're everything I ever imagined. And I'm so, so attracted to you so attracted to you that it just consumes me it absolutely consumes me I, I 
feel like I would just take the craziest risk to be with you. Like, it feels like you put a spell on me. It feels like... It feels like there's just no way for us to detach from each other. I just feel so called to you. I feel so called to you. It's like our souls are just calling to each other. I don't know what I have to offer. I really don't. You know, I feel like <laughs> whatever it is, like, uh, the best I can do is my love right now. The best I can do is to just show you how much happiness I can bring you and how much happiness you bring me and I feel like what I can offer you know is is some is something that can support us in a lot of ways I feel like you have everything you're independent you're attractive you're so 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 attractive you're intelligent, you're funny, you're smart. I see potential for us to have something really serious together. I see you as completing me, you know? And I think, to be honest with you, you have everything that you could ever want in this material world. But I know that you're missing love true love and I can give you that and that one last missing puzzle piece is what I can offer you I can offer you that completion I know you see it I feel sad because there's distance there's distance between us there's so much distance between us and it hurts it hurts it hurts I feel like I feel like sometimes it's just a dream. It's like connecting to you in a dream, you know? And I feel like, how can we, how can we make this work? How can we bridge this gap? Like, every time we start something, we start working towards it. In one way or another, it gets halted. It gets destroyed. But I know that, like, this, this passion I have for you, it's so unique. And it, it's almost like... fantastical in my mind like sometimes I just fantasize about the craziest things that we could do together and the craziest things that could happen between us and that's really what keeps me going and you know <laughs> I see a unicorn <laughs> whatever that means I see a unicorn I feel like there's still a lot for us to uncover about each other and know about each other and it, it just it, again it just it keeps me up at night thinking that there isn't anything there isn't anything else that I can do um, to bridge this gap, gap between us this distance between us this yearning this deep yearning it, it's just it's to the brink of desperation of how much I just want to hold you and touch you and, and just feel everything about you. I want to feel your heartbeat. I want to run my hands through your hair and caress you. There's just, there's so much passion and, and genuine love. And I just, I know that I'm so secure where I'm at and you feel safe where you are. And we're both ready to make that move. We're ready to make that leap towards each other. I'm doing everything I can. I'm planning, I'm planning, I'm planning. I'm constantly planning to just make things work between us, you know, like I'm, I'm doing everything I can, please believe me, please trust me that I, I can make this happen, I can work on this, I can manifest this, there's, there's so much, I just, that's one thing that I need you to know is I, I am manifesting you into my life, I'm doing the, everything I could possibly do because I want you to know that I'm here for you. I don't want you to feel like you're out by yourself. I don't want you to feel like you're alone. I don't want you to feel hurt because I'm not there with you. Because in spirit, I am. I'm always with you. I'm always connected to you. I, I feel you. I hear you. I, I need you. I desire you. You know, in those, those moments where you're alone, I can feel you. I can feel you in, in my heart and in my head. I know you feel it too we're 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 perfect for each other. We 
absolutely perfect for each other. And I get so tied up in my emotions for you. I get so caught up in my emotions to the point I'm just, I, I, I cry over you. I cry over you a lot. And I cry over this situation a lot. And even if I believe and I know in my heart that things are going to work out for us, it still doesn't hurt. It doesn't stop the pain. It doesn't stop the pain of knowing that, you know, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready yet for you. And I feel like you have everything. Again, you just, you're, you, I know you can offer the things to me that maybe I don't have for you. You know, like you don't, you don't need those things from me. You just want my love and, and we're so perfect for each other. And I feel like maybe I'm just not financially stable enough. Or maybe you're just more financially stable than me. Whatever it is, I just feel like... Like, you've just made all the right moves in life. You're just so perfect. You've done everything right. Like, ever, ever since I've known you, and even before I've known you, you just... You know what to do. You know what to say. Every The way that you walk, the way that you talk, and, and you know, relate to other people is just, just freaking perfect. You know, you, you know how to just make everything work in your life. And it's like, I'm out here just, I feel so young compared to you and experienced <laughs> compared to you. And it's like, I'm just kind of fumbling. I'm just fumbling around in this world. Oh, like overly emotional, which I'm not, but that's just how I feel right now. <laughs> but gosh, you just, you just make me so happy. Uh, and I, I pray, I pray, I pray, I manifest, I pray, I become a manifest, I pray. I pray to the guardian angels, I pray to God to just get us together, get this to work, get me to where I need to be so I can be with this person, so I can be with you. I know it's going to happen, I know it's going to happen. I just have to keep moving forward. I just have to keep following my happiness because I know we're going to be together. I know there's something so special between us. And, you know, sometimes I feel like like my passion has just like, and the, probably the things that I've said or the things in your mind, like it's, it's like an imagination to you. Like you feel like maybe it's not real or maybe I'm not going to be able to live up to it because I just maybe over talked myself <laughs> like talked myself up a lot but I know that it's it's real this connection between us is out of this world there, there's just there's no way around it I I know it I know it I know it I know it and if there's a third party here it, it's it, it's not gonna come between us anymore it's not I can't let this happen. I can't let this happen. And if it's a third party on your end, it, it needs to go. I mean, I know, I know that I just have to believe that things are going to work out. I just have to show you. I have to prove to you. I have to be able to prove to you that I'm worthy of you. I have to do it. And I, and I will. I don't want you to move on without me. I don't want you to think that you're going to be happy and follow something when you know in your heart it's not what you want. I don't want you to find someone else and think that it's going to complete you because it's not. You've already completed yourself. What you need is that spiritual connection. What you need is that love that I can give to you. No one else can give you what I can give you because this is this is set in stone. This is something set before this this lifetime. You know this. I I carry this wisdom in me. You know this too. You know it. I can't wait for the day that we get together. I really can't. So let's get into the advice for you guys, okay? Consult an expert and helpful person. So someone wants to help you. Who is that? Who is it that wants to help you in this? And there's more information. It says contact someone with expertise in this area. So what I'm feeling for you guys is there is some sort of distance between you. Something that caused a lot of issues um, between you guys. Emotional issues where they just, they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken about it. And I, I don't know if this is you pick, that I'm picking up on. 
where you have alluded to being with another person or you told them like hey listen I'm just gonna move on if you can't step up like yeah I care about you there is something there I do love you but you know if we can't be together we can't be together like it's just it's not practical I think you guys are very level-headed people you guys want to put your money where your mouth is and this person is a very emotional person and they just they don't want to let you go they want to be everything they want to complete you they're they're really 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 into you so this helpful person and consult expert that this can really be like your friends this can be someone that you um feel close to that you can trust this can actually be like an another like you know therapy or whatever whatever it is um that you feel for you but i also take these cards as your guardian angels so you can also pray to your guardian angels you can pray to the archangels and ask for guidance and help you know and and that's where it can come through for that i'm getting a very friendship vibe from this though very friendship vibe which can again also be your guardian angels so i just wanted you to hone in on that as well and there is a need for you to enjoy yourself there is a need for you to get out there and really just explore and be free and explore your options and just again I mean if you want to go hang out with your friends um if you want to just have fun and just dress up you know with your people and have a have a night out um if you want to just figure out like what you enjoy the most um that really colors your life you know whether this is like shopping hiking um going to the gym or you know whatever it is find ways to just focus focus on yourself um and focus again on even even your material world you know because i see that you are um, a material based person in this not in a bad way in in a very good way you you again you put your money where your mouth is like you stand by what you say you're you're strict on your word you're good in your word you you, you mean it and you also you just work hard <laughs> this person sees it too they're like you're you're everything you just you just know how to navigate life you just you just do it effortlessly and you look great doing it <laughs> so the best thing here is to just keep keep on enjoying yourself um and you know it will work out keep your thoughts keep your thoughts in a positive place um do what you can in there and you know again just enjoy your freedom you know A ask people for advice ask people what they would do if you need to I'll make sure it's someone that you can really trust and take it with a grain of salt. I think you guys are analytical enough to say, like, well, is this advice that I really want to take? Is this something that's worthwhile? And I think this is patience with yourself because if there's an up and down, and again, it's with this, whatever happened between you guys, it gets to you from time to time. It, it brings you down. It makes you feel like you have to keep your head down like this angel you have to just kind of hide out you have to just kind of wait it out you just kind of have to just let let things happen naturally and um the emotions just kind of roll over and keep yourself safe keep yourself you know secure until the smoke clears you know because after it clears again like think about it as a a volcano when that volcano comes and it and it takes over and it destroys everything in its path that volcanic ash oh my gosh the things that grow from that that volcanic ash has so many nutrients it's it's an insane how beautiful thing the the growth comes back from that and i see that with you and i see that with your relationships and just everything in general in life where you come back stronger than ever you come back just just like it's almost like a refresh it's like gosh I didn't need that but man that made me better that made me stronger that made me feel free again that made me really appreciate my freedom really appreciate what I have 
you know. So that's my reading. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.